Hey guys, welcome back. We are on um, English class today with page 95 activity, okay, which we're going to talk about at the end. Spelling week seven. Make sure you get out your week seven paper, okay? And verbs, which I'm going to give you your verbs that you're going to write your sentences on today, okay? So we're getting back into everything. So make sure you get your English brain on. I can imagine that most of you guys spent Semana Santa, oh, Semana Santa, Semana Santa only speaking what? Spanish, okay? We are back into English. Don't forget your English. Be practicing it. Be listening to it, okay? If you love English, you're going to learn it better, okay? So here we go. Let's do our spelling list first. Get that out. We're going to say, spell, say, but I'm going to stop and explain a few for you, Okay? Here we go. The first one is less. L-E-S-S, -S, less. Can anybody tell me what less is in Spanish? Menos, right? Okay, menos. Like, I have less cookies than he does. That's not fair. I have menos galletas, okay? Less. Feet. F-E-E-T, feet. What's feet in Spanish? P.S. We know that, okay? There's one foot, but then we don't say foot do we? We say feet, okay? He has one foot, I have two feet. Web, W-E-B, web. Web is, I think, telaraña, that's the thing that the spiders make, okay? The cool webs, I love them. They're like really intricate, which means very, a lot of detail, okay? Because God made his creation with a lot of detail and with the ability to make detail, okay? Jeep, J-E-E-P, Jeep. Man, I bet a lot of you guys know what Jeep is and how to spell it because it's a mark of a car. It's a brand of a car. We see it all the time. Next. N-E-X-T, next. What's next? The proximo cosa, right? The proximo cosa. So next, we are going to be um, doing our verbs, okay, after spelling. Keep. K-E-E-P, keep. What's keep? Guardar something, okay? I'm going to keep the secret to myself. I'm going to keep my notebook in my backpack. Keep. When. W-E-W-H-E-N. When. What's when? Cuando, okay? When vacation is over, we go back to school. <laughs> Free. Everyone likes that word, right? Free. F-R-E-E, -E, free. Everybody wants everything free. Gracias, okay? A free house, a free car, wouldn't that be cool? Sled. S-L-E-D, sled. Don't know what sled is in Spanish, but I do know it's the thing that um, if you're going to go in the snow, in the nieve, the thing that you get on to go down, whoo, sliding down is called a sled. Or you know how that in Alaska they have the dogs that carry the sled, through the the um the snow <laughs> or you could say santa sled that the reindeers carry breeze b-r-e-e-z-e -E -E, breeze okay so be careful on this one what are you seeing that you either have e -e elephant or you have e the e sound formed by double e okay sometimes the e sound is formed by e and a sometimes the e sound is formed by E with an E at the end, but all these words, feet, jeep, keep, free, breeze, queen, squeeze, drew, uh, sweep, freeze, those are all words that have double E, okay, eh, eh. So breeze is brisa, okay? Fled, F-L-E-D, fled. Queen, Q U. E E N La Reina the Queen is coming. Mess. Mess is a good word for you guys to know. Relajo. Relajo. If you have a mess in your room that your parents are gonna <laughs> punish you if you don't clean it up. Okay, a mess. M E S S mess. Squeeze. Okay, squeeze is to do something like this. Oh, I'm squeezing my hand, okay? I'm squeezing the paper. Ah, see. Squeeze. S-Q-U-E-E-Z-E, -E -E, okay? Dress. Vestido. 
D R E S S, dress, sweep. S W E E P, sweep. What is sweep? Barrer. Good word to know. Barrer. Sweep the house with the broom, with the escoba, okay? Pest. P E S T, pest. Freeze. F R E E Z E, freeze. Congelar. Okay, we're going to freeze the meat in the freezer. That's what we say is the parte arriba in the refri, okay? The freezer. Here we go. Now let's say, spell say really quickly so you can get it in your head now that I gave you a translation of each one of them. Ready? One, two, three. Less. L-E-S-S, -S, less. Feet. F-E-E-T, feet. Web. W-E-B, web. Jeep. J-E-E-P, jeep. Next. N-E-X-T, next. Keep. K-E-E-P, keep. When. W-H-E-N, when. Free. F-R-E-E, -E, free. Sled. S-L-E-D, sled. Breeze. B-R-E-E-Z-E, -E, breeze. Fled. F-L-E-D, fled. Queen. Q-U-E-E-N, queen. Mess. M-E-S-S, -S, mess. Squeeze. S-Q-U-E-E-Z-E, -E, squeeze. Dress, D-R-E-S-S, -S, -S, dress, sweep, S-W-E-E-P, sweep, pest, P-E-S-T, pest, freeze, F-R-E-E-Z-E, -E, freeze. Okay, a lot of E's in the freeze. <laughs> okay, now your verbs. These are on page 19, but I'm going to give it to you right here. I'm going to teach you these verbs or go over them with you. And then you're going to write sentences on these verbs. Remember, write a sentence for each verb with its present tense and its past tense. Sing. Today I sing. Yesterday I sang. Okay, say that. Sang. What is sing? Cantar. We know that. Okay, today I sing. Yesterday I sang. So I'm going to sing a song in church. Or... Yesterday, a lot of the kids from Sunday school sang a beautiful song for Easter, okay? Which actually really happened. Okay, so sing. Sink. Sink. Sink is undir. The I hope the boat does not sink in the water. Today I sink. Yesterday I sank. Okay? I did not sink. <laughs> I did not sink, okay? So, the boat sinks, the boat sank. Sit, sentarse, okay? Sit on the chair. Today I sit, yesterday I sat. Take, take is to agarrar. Okay, agarrar. So I take my lunch to school. You can say that's llevar, but you can also say like I take my book from the desk. Yo agarro mi libro, okay? Take, took, yesterday I take, I mean, today I take, yesterday I took. I took my book home with me. So you can also say llevar for that one. Teach, enseñar. Today I teach. Yesterday I taught, except yesterday I did not taught. <laughs> and you can't say did not taught, by the way. Yesterday, last week I taught, this week I teach, okay? In Semana Santa, I was not teaching. <laughs> I teach, yesterday I taught. Make sure you write down taught or look on page 19 of your grammar book. Okay, you need to make your own sentences, even if you're sisters or sister and brother. Don't have the same sentence as your siblings. Okay, those are all for you to think about in your own head. Okay, and the last thing today is that you're going to write a story. Everybody take out your page where you're going to write a story. Now look, guys, let's talk about this. You guys have to start doing exercise for your brain. It's just that I don't want to do exercise. No, not exercise like jumping and corriendo, which is good for you to do, okay? But exercising your brain, which means you have to make yourself creative, you guys. I have given you these papers before for Bible class or for English, write a story. And you 
guys do not write a story. Now, I know that you guys can say stories. I know you guys can contar un montón de cosas, right? But then I give you a piece of paper and I say, tell me a story about this picture. And you're like, well, one day there were some kids who had blue shirts who were looking at a box. Done, Miss Jessica. I have written my story. And I did my homework. Woo! No! Okay? When I tell you to write a story, it's to help you use your imagination and to be creative. You can say so many things about these people. Look, you could you could give them names, okay? You could say, there once was a boy who loved soccer, whose name was Jake. This guy right here, okay? And his dad was the coach, and he loved to play soccer with his dad because after he would go to soccer practice, he would help people too. All the teammates would bring things to donate to people. Donations. Donate to people who lost all of their toys and all of their good stuff in the hurricanes last year. And so it was really fun for me to know the boy, Jake, who loved soccer. And he had a best friend whose name was Michael, who was sad sometimes because he, you see how he looks sad? He was sad sometimes because he couldn't play soccer very well, but he never gave up. And then he started playing so well that he became one of the champions to help them win the championship in 2021. And now he is going to start playing for Olympia next year after he gets out of college. And that's a story, right? Okay. All because you saw a soccer ball and a guy that looks like a coach and a box of donations and a happy kid and a sad kid, okay? That's a story. Now you guys get to make up a story, okay? Don't tell me there were some guys in some shirts that were blue with a box that said donations. Here you go, Michelle. I did my homework. No, it's an exercise to make you creative and to spell correctly because you guys do know how to spell in English, but you act like you don't sometimes. It should be in English because this is English class. You have to write eight renglones. How many? Ocho, eight. Sometimes you guys send me five renglones and say, here you go. And I'm like, mm, that's not eight renglones. Okay, so make sure that you start your story and that you finish it on eight renglones. So you have to keep writing and keep inventing. You have like five people in the story. You have plenty of material so you can write a good one. Okay, so that is your homework for today. So don't forget it. You have to... Copy your spelling words one time. You need to write your 10 sentences for your verbs and write a story about those cool people with the soccer ball. And honestly, you don't even have to write about soccer. It's just a soccer ball in there. There's a lot of other things in there too that you could write about and it'd be really cool. So go ahead. Tell me where they live. Tell me who they are. Give them names. Tell me what they did in their lives. It'll be great. I can't wait to read your stories. Be creative. Have fun. Thank you and have a good day.